Hello everyone, I'm Kai Feng from Research Center for eco Environmental Sciences, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Today, I would like to introduce our recent work about INAMP, an integrated network analysis pipeline for microbiome studies. As we know, microbial eco network analysis is a popular approach for exploring microbiome data sets and find insightful perspective in complex ecosystems. There are a lot of statistic methods like MANA, SPACC, ELSA, SpeakEasy. Uh, researchers need to use different packages to use all of these methods, like web page for MANA, Python package for SPACC and ELSA, and R package for SpeakEasy. So we implement all these network construction methods together and provide topological features analysis for in intradomain and interdomain ecological networks. The pipeline also provides statistical approaches to find the effects of abiotic F factors on network structures. Uh, the pipeline on one focuses on one group or two groups of species. One group can include bacteria, archaea, fungi, and plants and others. Two groups can include plant microbiomes, bacteria, fungi, and others. The associations can be separated to adjacent matrix and biopartite matrix. We use the molecular ecology networks to describe the adjacent matrix, and the interdomain ecological networks to describe biopartite net matrix. This is the workflow of INAMP from network cons uh, construction to network analysis. The input files can be tabular file, uh, files, including abundance data sets, metadata, and taxonomy files. Using different pipelines, output files include adjacent network metrics and biopartic network metrics. After network construct analysis, users can get network topological features, module results with potential keystones, and uh, uh, randomization of networks. And uh, the most important one in our pipeline is linking environmental trends to networks, for example, mental tests and the module engine analysis. Here is the main page of INAP. We encourage users to conduct analysis with the registers account. You can find the two sections a procedural files, and app citations, and uh, updates of our web pipeline. We also provided a short video in YouTube and Bilibili website to show how to conduct network construction and ana network analysis in an app. You may find the video link here. After the analysis, users can use the output files to plot their networks with Cytoscape and the Gaffey software. For Cytoscape, three files can be found in an app. For Gaffey, two files can be found. We also provided one short video to show how to plot these networks uh, in Cytoscape and Gaffey. The video links are put here. INAP is designed and maintained in a safe mode uh, that is stability, accessibility, feasibility, and easiness. Our lab provides the stable technical support, and INAP is accessible with free registration. Users can link their local files and closely use the tools. Uh, with the Galaxy network, it is easy to operate, and everyone can do network analysis in INAP. With the use of INAP, it is possible to explore the accessible a mechanism and of microbial communities, also to find the stability pattern of ecosystem with the kingston organisms. Here are two examples. One uses INAP to analysis the cross trophic network among circozone, phygine, and prokaryota. Another one uses INAP to construct the phytozone plankton networks in coastal marine ecosystems. In summary, INAP contains two network analyses associations uh, for intradomain and interdomain associations of microbial species. And I've provided multiple approaches, including SPACC, ELSA, SpeakEasy, and RMT-based Pearson and Spearman correlations. 
uh, through free registration and easy operation, INAP can be easily operated by researchers without any prerequisite bioinformatics or statistical language-based programming skills for network analysis or microbial studies. This work is finished by the pro group of Professor Yedon. You can find more information for our lab in the lab page and also QR code. Uh, if you have any problems and for an app, please feel free to contact us. We will try our best to solve your pro questions. Finally, we would like to thank the IMATA journal. Please pay more attention to this brilliant journal, a journal to change the world. Thank you.